Welcome back to Watch Played. My name is Luke Smith, and this is... Rodney Smith. In this episode, we will be continuing our playthrough of Yomi. <laughs> well, not Take only... it over from here, Rodney Smith. It's <laughs> yeah, a lot. I feel like I just got usurped. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, not only are you cleaning my clock here in the game, but uh, apparently also in the hosting. I had a lot of good suggestions from people after the last video. Some tips on maybe what I could do better to improve my chances against this monster that I've created here. And uh, also, uh, moving forward, the, the suggestion that got the most votes was from Dare Machina. Before we get to that, though, I got a couple of good tips as well. I have uh, this ability called Smoldering Embers. We talked about this in the last video, and this actually triggers from my discard pile. So to prevent me from forgetting that it's here, and also to help Luke remember as well, not a bad idea to sort of keep it a little bit separate, maybe, uh, outside. That may not be officially what, you know, what the rules allow, but uh, why don't we do that because we've got a little bit more going on here than just playing a game. We're also recording the video. Also important to note that this card's effect is cumulative. So if I have more than one of these in my discard pile, then each one will cause two points of damage oh. to you when you do a oh, dodge. Ouch, ouch. Yeah, yeah. So that, that may help me or at least prevent you from dodging without thinking twice. All right, let's get to the table and see what's going to happen next. All right, let's see if the viewers steered me in the right direction. Yes! Yeah. Finally! There we go, because attacks beat throws. Eight damage! Finally, Dan! No, not just eight uh. damage, because this one has pump, and it says pump plus one any. That means oh. I can discard any card from my hand to pump this up. And it was suggested to me that I should pump with this 10, because the 10 is the one that has that smoldering embers effect, so we know this is also going to be added to my discard right. pile. Yeah, pretty good planning, right? So this extra pump mm. damage gives me an additional five for a total of 13 damage. So we'll knock 10 off here, and then one, two, three more. Finally, finally I've scraped you. The queen is an ender, and that means I will not be able to do any additional combos here. But thankfully, I did get some pump damage I was able to do, and now we can discard these cards. This is a situation where burning vigor would trigger here. This would mean that because I successfully attacked, I'd be able to return cards used in the combo by paying life points. However, I don't want to return this one. I want this one to go to the discard pile. And as I mentioned before, maybe we'll just keep these two here, a little bit separate from my discard pile, just as a reminder that we have two of these smoldering embers here that can be triggered. All right, now it's time for us to power up, and I know Luke wants to. Yes. Okay, so you're discarding two fives. fives. All right. And you don't, yeah, you don't have any aces in your discard pile, so you have to go no. to your deck. Well, finally, finally, I did some damage. I was yes. a little bit concerned, we were talking earlier today, that this might be a shutout. Could it be that I would look, is that an ace? Yes. It's an ace, great. I would just like to comment on something. When I was looking through, I saw the card that was on top of my deck. Yeah? A joker. <laughs> so you would have pulled a joker. Yes! But now, of course, after you've gone through your deck, <laughs> You have to do a little shuffle. <laughs> so goodbye, Joker. <laughs> and uh, let's go back to the table and let's plan out the next turn. So at the beginning of a round, of course, we get to draw, which we'll do now, and then look and decide what we want to combat reveal. With this one, I also got some advice from the viewers, but I had to change it slightly because of what I drew. Hopefully, I won't regret that. You regret it. Ah, uh, well, yeah. a little bit. bit. Obviously, yeah. here's you have a faster attack, 2.4 to my 3.6. Your damage is going to go through. But the nice thing is here, finally, I didn't block one of these jacks. I did manage to get rid of one of them before. But You've gotten a second one. It's going to go away. Now, is there any way you can do combos here? No, you can't, because this is an ender. ender. Right? So I'll just take my eight damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm 32. down to 32, and we'll discard these. Good play, Luke. Would you like to trade for aces? No. Me either. So let's draw a new one, and let's see what happens next. Something I just wanted to mention quickly. After putting up the Yomi instructional video, I got a few different comments from people saying, this game seems kind of complicated for a card combat game. And I understand where that's coming from. Uh, there's, there's a few if this happens, then that type scenarios in the game which you need to keep track of. That's true. But hopefully, in seeing the gameplay itself, you're getting a sense that it's not as complicated as it might have seemed when I threw all the rules at you at once. Luke, how have you found it overall yourself? Like, in terms well, of. I feel like it's very easy because all you do is play an attack and then you beat your dad. <laughs> I did not mean. Kids out there, you will beat your dad this game, no did, matter what. I did not mean how easy is it to beat me. Oh. <laughs> I meant how do you find the rules of the game? Well, it really depends on what 
character you used. That's like, a good point. A lot of the characters I used had dragon form and you had an extra rule in there. That's right. Some of the characters do have additional things to think about. And so for your first game, what you might want to do is just not even use the character special abilities. Or you can also remove the jokers. You know that extra step you can do about bef before someone decides to do a combo, you have the option of throwing a joker face down or a bluff card, right? You can play your first few games without that just to keep that from, you know, complicating things yeah. as you're learning the rules. All right, but we understand the rules good enough. Let's get back to the table and let's continue. We already drew, so now we can just combat reveal and... Wow, yeah. look at this, Jaina got another successful attack through. This one's interesting as well because this is a normal attack and when a normal attack is either blocked or if it succeeds, you get to draw. So I'm gonna draw right now. And I could combo if I'd like to, but I'm actually not going to. I'm just gonna do five points of damage to you, Luke. And then we can discard these cards and then... Uh, well, actually, before we oh, do that... power up. Yeah, power up phase. Let's see. I, you know what? I don't I, want to. I'm going to. What? I'm gonna trade for aces, I know. I have mm. two fours here. I'm gonna trade those out. I'm gonna look through my deck, see if I can find an ace. Was there an ace right on top? No, there wasn't. Okay. Uh, there's an ace right there. I'm going to take that, put it in my hand, and then I'm going to shuffle up the rest of my deck here. And then we'll be able to draw and start a new round. So let's just put this down. Ready to draw? Yes. Let's go. Are you ready, Dan? I am ready. Let's combat reveal. Oh, Ooh, <laughs> thank goodness. Thank goodness I dodged. I wasn't actually planning on dodging. I was going to attack, but then I got nervous. I got nervous, but I thought this might be a little safer. <sighs> and it really was. I thought you were going to play an ace because you went fishing for aces. Yeah, and I thought you might think that, Luke, but I was worried. Like, I was concerned. What if you played a block or a dodge? Yeah. Because my aces are so good, I didn't want to lose such a potent attack. And so I thought playing a dodge might be a little safer, especially since look at the speed of this attack. If I had played zero my. Point zero. Yeah, if I had played my attack against this, you would have won that one for sure. With a dodge, when you succeed in a dodge, you can then follow up with a single attack. And now I'm going to play that ace. Oh. And I'm playing it on the red dragon side. This allows me to do 10 damage, and then I can pump with more additional aces. And that's going to give me another 9 damage. So a total of 19 damage. Now I can't combo this. Again, a dodge can only be followed up with a single attack. Although you can pump it, like I've done here. So I'll take the 10 damage off of you like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And that's going to knock you down to 53 points of life. I'm still wow. at what? 32 here, so you're definitely oh, winning, man. but I'm closing the gap. Remember with my special ability, I can sometimes buy back combos, but I have to start with an attack. And this would be one I might consider buying back those aces from, but I dodged so the ability doesn't trigger. Instead, we can just discard these. Would you like to trade for aces now, Luke? No. Uh, I don't think I will either. So instead, we can just draw and we'll be able to start a new round. Luke, are you ready? Yes. I think I am as well. Let's reveal. No. Oh, I blocked, and thankfully that's going to stop this. Now, when an attack is successful or blocked, you do get to draw, Luke. Yeah. So you get to draw. That's something. At least I blocked the damage from happening here. I get to take this into my hand, and I get to draw when a block is successful like that. Now let's just see if we want to power up for aces or not. This might have changed things. Not me. I think for me, I will. I'm going to trade in these two tens. Remember, these are the ones that have the smoldering embers. So now I have all of these out. So Luke, if you decide you want to dodge, it's going to hit you for eight damage. And I'm going to pick up one of these aces here. Hey everyone, future Rodney here. I've come to correct one of past Rodney's mistakes. But before I get to that, you'll notice the future is devoid of color. So please, please don't just be slapping paint around willy nilly and being wasteful. That's a limited resource. We don't want to bring on this colorless world any sooner than we have to. All right, you'll notice I had just discarded two tens from my hand in order to collect an ace, and I thought it was being so clever, getting these tens into my discard pile so easily. However, there's some small print here we need to read. You can see here on the Smoldering Embers effect, whenever the opponent dodges while this card is in your discard pile, they take two damage. But it then says, you can't power up with this card. It's too hot which is meant to prevent exactly what I just did, but I got so caught up in the moment thinking I was gonna be able to grab this extra ace that I just forgot. You'll see how I used the ace I collected from that power-up phase in just a moment, and thankfully it's not gonna have a major impact on the outcome of the game, but this is something you should pay attention to in your own games. Don't make the same mistake I did. All right, let's get back to it. And now we get to draw. Okay, let's do this again. And... 
Ha! Oh no! It's one thing I was told after the last video was I blocked way too much, and maybe maybe I'm falling back into that trap a little bit here. This is a successful throw. It's going to do at least seven points of damage to me. It's a starter though, so you can link to this, or you can stop just to knock me down. Link. Oh, you're going to play a linker. Okay, that's going to do another seven points of damage. Now you could pump this if you have another king for another no. seven. No. No. 14 damage in total. That's where you're stopping? Okay, so 14 damage in total. So I'm gonna take 10 off right now and then go one, two, three, four. That's gonna, oh my goodness, I'm down to 18. 18. Wow. Bada boom. Okay, let's discard these. Now, do we wanna trade for aces? Yes, I will say that I do wanna trade for aces. I actually mm. have three nines in my hand. That's gonna allow me to go wow. get two aces. I'm gonna take one of them from here, put that into my hand. I don't think. Have any other aces in here? Nah. So the other ace is gonna have to come from my deck, which I'll go and get. Well, I really thought Luke was gonna let me have a bit of a comeback there. And, nope. uh, well, you mm -mm. did for a little bit. Well, for a little yes, bit. Yes, toying with me there, but now my hopes are being dashed to bits again. There's my ace. Yes, take a good close look, because you're gonna see it again real soon. And now we get to draw to start yes. the next round, and let's go back to the table. I have to say, I'm really nervous right now, because if Luke is successful and combos into any amount of damage, I'm probably dead right here. Let's reveal. Oh, oh thank oh. goodness, Luke, you threw. I thought you were gonna play dodge. And the last time I went fishing for aces, I did. Yes. To protect myself. This time though, I decided to lead right with the attack, and this is one that I can pump, and I'm gonna do that. I have two other aces in my hand. That's gonna allow Mommy. me to pump for nine <laughs> damage extra each for a total of 28 damage. So I'll knock you down 20 points, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to Ooh. 24. Because I did a successful attack, I could use my ability to buy back aces, but it's gonna cost me four life each, and I don't do think- it. No, do I it. don't think I can afford to do that. So let's just discard these, and then let's each draw, as unless you wanna trade for aces. Hmm, nope. No, okay, let's draw then. Now one thing you might have noticed, as Luke and I have been playing, we haven't been stopping for the joker or bluff step. Because... You shall not <laughs> bluff! Okay, Gandalf. <laughs> because normally you can put a card face down to potentially prevent someone's combos, right? Well, when Luke and I play, we just normally, the person, if they want to bluff, they'll jump in and say, hold on a second, and they'll slap a card down. But when you're playing for your first few games, you may want to just pause and make sure you're taking time for each of those steps and allowing people and players to react when they can. All right, you ready to go back to the table? Yes. Let's do it. All right, now Luke, tell me the truth. Now that I've knocked you down a little bit, are you feeling a little less confident, a little more nervous? A bit. A Maybe bit. a bit? All right, let's see what happens here. Two attacks, it's gonna be speed. Yes! Oh my goodness, the speed on this one is 2.2 and the speed on mine is 2.4. So that means Luke's attack is successful. It's gonna do seven damage. Now you could pump it. Now before you do, before you do, I'm so glad we talked about putting down bluffs because oh, this is not a bluff. I'll tell you right now, this is a joker. So think twice before um, you add to this. It's up to you though. If you wanna keep going with it, I'm you can. I'm so close to beating you, I'm gonna play. Oh my an goodness, ace. you got an ace there. This will do another 12 damage, yeah, this, this would finish me off, but thankfully I've got a joker! Wait, that's not a joker. <laughs> I don't have a joker. It was a bluff. That's a total of 19 damage, and I'm at, I'm at 18, so that is definitely going to win you the game. Now, I do have a question for you, Luke. After let me beat you so many times with Jane, and when we weren't on Watch It Played, how come you chose now to beat me? All part of the plan, if you will. <laughs> That's quite a plan you had there. Congratulations, Luke, you did a great job. And thank you so much for letting me at least catch up to you a little bit before you finished me As off. As I said, all part of the plan. <laughs> yeah, that's right, you just lulled me into a false sense of security. Well, hopefully you guys have a better sense now of how the game works. If you have any questions, of course, about anything you saw here, feel free to put them in the comments below. And stick around, subscribe to our channel. We're gonna be doing some more instructional videos and playthroughs of other games, and I hope you'll join us. But until the next episode, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.